everybody welcome to another video this one's uh, a little a little uh, clear coat video I've been experimenting over the last four and a half months with different clear coats oh the mipper I've actually had for quite a while but uh, yeah I've got the Multimix 2 and the uh, 6030 Capsi I've given about three minutes on each so I can't cover everything but I'm covering as much as I can all the conditions for it are exactly the same so we've got the same gun, which is the DV1 the Vilbis clear coat gun with a 1.2 tip and the C1 cap. Uh, these are all HS clear, so they're comparable in that way. All the shots you see at the end are all two days after. So the clear coats had time to, to um, cure and any immediate dropping gloss level you will see so they're all two days after everything you see is off the gun nothing is polished i mean that goes for the whole channel all the time it's pointless me polishing something and show you in it because it could be anything anything could do it really uh, so all the finishes you see are off the gun uh, exactly what we get and what we've put on nothing is uh nothing is polished up or anything so they're all directly comparable so we start off with the UPO. Now the UPO I've used uh, most of the time really. It's by far the, the clear coat I've used most of the time. It's an old school clear coat. It's, it's just the technology is quite old. And I was quite interested to see how some of the newer ones, as I've used the MIPA before uh, a couple of times, but recently I've been using all of them a lot to uh, give them a, a good uh, airing really and test. And, and the U-Pole, by far out of these, flows the least. So if you're, if you're someone quite new to painting, I would recommend buying one of the better ones. Uh, and you can see as we go along about you know what, how I rate them as such. But I would recommend spend mo more money on something like the Multimix 2 or the Capsi. I would recommend spending that because they are easier to use because they just flow out better. So you can push them a little bit harder than the u pole as well without getting run so they're more, much more forgiving but as far as price you know bang for your buck as they say this is absolutely ideal if, if you're uh, you know reasonably afraid of using it which as i say i've used it for years and years um it's by far the cheapest here i don't know whether i've said that before but it's by far the cheapest here it doesn't flow that well so you need to spray effectively for for virtually the finish you want because you don't get a load of of flow out afterwards it gives you a good polishing window you get about three or four days even using the fast hardener you get about three or four days uh it does go off hard after a week or so uh yeah it's just just old school really uh gloss levels it retains its gloss levels pretty well the extra fast you do lose quite a bit so well i find you can't use quite a bit so try and avoid that if you can keep to the fast and the fast still goes off quite quick anyway uh uv I, i've used this on cars that have spent like four years five years in spain with no detrimental effect so i think it's quite good for that and that's one of the things you'll find you know even with the uh the better ones that you get a better uv because the more you pay normally the better your uv resistance is uh, and this one varies in that you need two full coats and the rest of them are just a tack coat and a full coat on to the next one so mipa cx4 with hx4 which is an express hardener fast hardener now the cx4 is is designed more for part panels um, or just you know a, a few panels not ready for full resprays and one of the reasons for that is it goes off really really fast and it goes off really really hard so your your polishing window is not particularly great and as the weather warms up it gets less so just bear that in mind it's ideal if you want to do something and then a few hours later just flatten it and polish it or take the denib it or whatever it's ideal for that uh definitely definitely goes harder faster than any of the other clear coats that are here price wise it's by far the most expensive uh i got this for about 160 quid at the time in fact i've got it for less because i've got a 20 pound uh 20 percent ebay voucher but some people are, are now putting the kits up to 200 pound i guess when people get rid of existing stock that will go up because as i've said in the other video 
everything's going up at the moment. So it, it becomes quite expensive. Uh, is it worth it? For me, probably not. For a lot of people, it probably will be. Um, the gloss levels are really, really high. Probably the highest here. Uh, none of them really lose their gloss level that much. You, you see a slight loss, but it's, it's minimal. Um, but this was the least of all of them. Um, a really, really cracking clear coat. Flows out super, super well. Um, it, it's defi it definitely shows its quality uh, over the others. But uh, obviously, as we've already said, at a price. So, you know, it, in the case of the other ones, it's nearly twice the price. So you get what you pay for. But I, I really found this a, a cracking clear coat. I don't think it's for me because it's just too expensive for what I do, uh, especially the stuff for the channel. If I'm just doing something, sanding it down and, you know, trying different things, it's not worth it at all. But uh, I hope the camera is conveying to you that there is a, a very high gloss level and a really good run out. It flows out super, super nice. So definitely you notice the money. Again, if this is a, a tack coat and then a full coat, always read the technical data sheets on these because it will give you a head start and a heads up as to what's going on uh yeah the best the best here i think for uh all round uh, usability but as i say you you're you're paying for that guys okay on to the next one the multi-mix 2 now they call it multi-mix 2 because they originally had the original multi-mix which they still make which is a medium solids this is a high solids version of it uh, I used it again with fast hardeners with all of these and it acted perfectly well um, Very very good in the colder conditions Not as quite as good as the u-pole, but it, it is a better clear coat than the u-pole But obviously it's more expensive flows out really really nice uh, It was in fact my favorite clear coat until we got to the to the warmer weather uh, and the capsi took over but for most of the time this was my favorite clear coat as i say it flows really really well good for the fine atomization of the uh, dv1 you don't have to put loads and loads of material on there um, price wise it sells in the uk it's it just gone up by the looks of it but it, it was around about 99 pound when i got these kits looking on ebay the other day they're about 115 quid but uh yeah it's still not that expensive compared to some of them i mean everything's going up at the moment isn't it um as i say the hardener worked really really well in the colder conditions it's just a fast hardener they do uh, an air dryer as well uh which i i didn't see the, the need for and it's proved to be the case it, it doesn't really need that at all um polishing window uh, it's not as open as the uh, the capsi and again that is due to the hardener but you'll get a couple of days normally where you you'd be able to flatten polish it without it being too too, too hard to uh, do anything with but it does really depend on the uh, the conditions um, the gloss level retained its gloss level really really well um, as as good as the capsi I think hardly anything in it I mean, you can make your own judges as best you can on camera anyway uh, with the um, the final footage. But yeah, it held its gloss level really, really well. Uh, UV properties, it's not as new as the Capsi, as far as I know, it's not as new as the Capsi. But again, it's still a relatively new clear coat. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, we don't know, do we, at the moment? It takes years, really, for something like that to come through. Uh, genuine high solids clear so really good really good for uh, you know if you want a high solids clear the medium solids version is also pretty good I've never used it but uh, I know people that have used it and they, they say it's actually quite good this is funny because I put a, a, a photo of the various clear coat or two clear coats anyway including this one on Instagram and a couple of people contacted me to say that they had problems with this but I, I haven't had problems with the M MM2, um, but obviously it doesn't suit everybody. So yeah, I mean, uh, you have to give it a try really to know. Anyway, recommended guys. Capsi 6030. Now, this one actually flows really, really well. Uh, I really enjoyed using this. The 
price point is very very good it's below the CX4 and a little bit below the Multimix 2 a bit more expensive than the U-Pole but I definitely think it's worth paying that the hardener with this it's more like a normal although this is all these have been used with fast hardener it was much much more like a normal hardener it, it stayed open for for ages so much so in that i i did a uh, couple of panels at about 10 degrees celsius yeah one day and i left it overnight and the temperature went down to about nor or plus one something like that and normally with the u-pole which is what i normally use you'd come in and you could sand it and get on with whatever you wanted to do but this wasn't having none of it at all it was it was it cured to the touch but it was definitely soft definitely soft but after a couple of days of just standing around and the temperature warmed up a bit it was absolutely fine so it was definitely the hardener and i've used it in the summer and it's ideal the fast hardener with this acts more like a normal so even i mean we've had temperatures up to, well 40 degrees one day uh in the uk 40 degrees celsius and it was actually perfect so yeah definitely if you're doing anything and it's remotely chilly get yourself the extra fast not the fast hardener so basically just sort of jump up jump a step that you normally do polishing window was really really good a couple of days you'll get depends on the hardener and the temperatures but a couple of days it should be okay uh, gloss levels are really really good uh, i mean all these didn't drop much in the way of gloss level only the u-pole drops a, a very small amount with the fast hardener uh, extra fast it drops a lot more but yeah it's very very minimal you'll see you see at the end then obviously you see at the end uh, the final results uh uv qualities i'm still not sure about yet because it's relatively new to the market uh but i'm sure it should be um, absolutely fine uh, these are all high solid spheres so um, you know they're all comparable as such and this one is i mean always read the technical data sheets on these but effectively it's uh like a, a three quarters coat like a, a wet tack coat and then a full coat for your uh, final gloss but yeah it works really really well flows out really well with the uh finer atomizing guns like the dv1 it's not that fast but it can atomize very fine um so yeah highly highly recommended this went from being my least liked to my most liked yeah recommended so thanks everybody for watching i've done my best to try and represent these as um as clear as i can and it's difficult i mean you know it's difficult to uh do a shoot out of clear coach really most of it will be what i say i suppose but certainly in order it's the the mipper cx4 would be the top one but it, it's much more money so i think the best value for money is going to be the capsi uh because it's as good as in my opinion it's as good as the multi-mix if not slightly better uh, you just got to get that hardener right make sure you get the extra fast hardener and the u-poles coming up the rear but it's it's much much cheaper all right guys thanks for watching as always bye bye